Right, uh, so kita masuk chapter number 2 which is uh, research process research process Right So, dalam chapter ni kita akan tengok uh, problem identification of problem area uh, state uh, research objective Identifying relevant variables, hypothesis formulation, data collection method, data analysis, and interpretation of data. And uh, objective of this uh, chapter is to describe the research process from formulating question to seeking and finding solution. Describing the describe the difference between dependent and independent variables. Identify other type of variables that may interfere with the process of research process define hypothesis and describe how it works so and then we're going to discuss uh, the null uh, the null the value of null hypothesis and then uh, continue lagi kita akan tengok the difference between null hypothesis and research hypothesis list the characteristic of good hypothesis explain the difference between a sample and population and last is define statistical significant and explain is important so total slide ni I have 183 so previous slide you dah dapat kan yang slide chapter number 1 tu I dah letak dalam week future right you dah download yeah. dah download yeah. kan ah, dalam week 2 ah, dalam week 2 right ok so kita tengok ah, cukup tak slide for chapter 1 I think I letak 2-2 kan right? ok good so now kita nak tengok what is research all about right kita dah discuss ni in detail last lecture so it's basically to increase our understanding of how and why the uh, we behave uh, the way we do right so we want to understand what uh, what is the problem behind what is the uh, actual problem and why the problem occur and how to solve the problem, how to identify the factor contribute to the problem, right? So, uh, research process coming to term. So, we're going to look into from problem to solution and the language of research, right? So, from problem to solution, we need to noting, uh, take note an interesting question, state the question in such way that can be answered. So, last lecture, uh, if you still remember, so question yang boleh di answer mesti follow uh, the term SMART S M A R T which is specific uh, realistic achievable measurable and timeliness. So this is a, a flow research process flow of research process. If you look at the first uh, flow dekat sini uh, formulating a research problem we start with the formulating a research problem what is our research problem so in our case we are interested to find the knowledge attitude and practice on dengue fever prevention right? remember so yeah We start with the formulating of research problem. Contoh macam uh, our case is dengue fever prevention. So, what is the problem behind dengue fever prevention? Right? So, the current problem is the number of dengue cases is increasing week by week. Kalau kita tengok dalam, uh, you can download the data lah. You need to provide the data, evidence that to, uh, to prove that this is our current problem. Uh, so, we will tengok dalam uh, KKM punya website, download the data and plot the data into a graph. So, we can, can see the dengue cases are increasing week by week. So, this is the problem. Why this happened? So, the question is why this happened? So, then 
we conceptualize a research design. So you can see, formulating a research problem, you need to refer to the literature review. So every step, every progress process dalam research uh, pro, uh, process ni, uh, every item in research process ni, semua mesti related to dia tak lari dari literature review mesti berkait rapat dengan literature review always refer to journal always refer to current uh, evidence and then after we identify or formulating a research problem then we going to conceptualizing a research design so last lecture kita dah belajar research design we have a qualitative design and quantitative design semua dah ada buku kah? Buku uh, Research Methodology warna, warna unggu tu dah dapat kan? Ada yang belum dapat lagi? Ada yang belum dapat lagi? Belum? Eh? Kenapa belum? Ni tak order lagi eh? Saya order hari yang saya bagi link dekat you tu, saya order terus. Dah dapat dah. Dua tiga hari sampai. You kena check lah dalam Shopee tu. Kenapa eh? Ha, tak sampai lagi. So, dalam uh, research uh, uh, design ni, kita ada qualitative research design and quantitative research design. So, for quantitative research design, we have um, retrospective research design, prospective research design, uh, and a combination of prospective and, uh, prospective, uh, prospective and retrospective. And then we have a a cross-sectional research design. You also have a cohort or longitudinal research design. And then we also have a experimental, true experiment and quasi-experiment. Right? So, semua boleh refer dalam slide uh, sebelum ni. Eh. Kalau you tak ada buku lagi, boleh refer. Tapi, I strongly suggest you to have a book lah. Uh, check kenapa you tak ada buku lagi. Eh. Sebab, I bukan I jual tau. Uh, yang jual tu, uh, the research, resource person. So, you can check dengan dia orang. Right. And then, once you already identify what a study, what type of study design or research design yang kita nak, akan pakai, and then we going to construct instrument for data collection. So, we need to we need to begin to collect data kan? So, nak collect data tu mesti ada questionnaire. Right? Mana nak dapat questionnaire? Nanti I akan bagi dekat you. I don't, don't worry about that. But, uh, Basically, kita kena ada questionnaire lah, kena construct based on our objective. Right? Based on our objective. So, to construct a questionnaire pun, kena refer literature review. Bukan suka-suka hati duduk bawah pokok, fikir apa soalan nak tanya. No. We need to refer to the literature review, past research that have been done and we need to align with our objective. Right? So, sekejap lah. I'm, I'm lying as well. Okay. Okay, right. So once you already identify and construct a questionnaire, and uh, so of course uh, in constructing a questionnaire, you gonna refer to literature review lah, and then you gonna begin to select a sample. So where is your target population? You need to identify the target population. If you want to do a knowledge attitude and practice on dengue fever prevention at Perak Tengah District, so Perak Tengah District is your the resident of Perak Tengah District is your population lah. And then, so the population will be very big kan. So, kalau nak uh, nak kecikkan lagi, we need to do a sampling. So, there are two type of sampling. Uh, with the probabilistic sampling techniques and non-probabilistic sampling techniques. Right? So, we need to decide which type of sampling technique you nak pakai. Probabilistic kan, non-probabilistic. So, once you already identify, then you need to uh decide how many sample how many sample that you want to take let's say 100 sample so 100 sample then you, of course you, uh, uh, you need to calculate lah then selecting a sample pun you need to refer to the literature review how many sample that uh, sufficient to uh, generalize to the whole population in Perak Tengah district on top yeah? so you begin to collect the data I distribute the questionnaire and collect the data lah. And then once you, uh, this is a process lah. So you identify the, this one identify the sampling technique. Then you write a research proposal dulu sebelum collect the data lah. Uh, so a research proposal should contain 
introduction uh, and then formulating what is a problem uh, uh, research problem which is a problem statement objective and then you go to literature review and then go to methodology methodology is what is the current population what is your sample what is your research design what is your um, uh, instrument yang you nak pakai right and uh, sampling techniques and so on lah uh, you kena siapkan proposal ni I think by this week uh, by sebelum next uh, next next class I think you should be able to 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 come up with a research proposal already right so after you have a research proposal then you can begin with data collection lah data collection and Processing of data means input the data into SPSS and analyze the data. So once you already have a, a result, then you can write a research report, complete research report. So in com uh, writing a complete research report, so you always need to refer back to the literature. So maksudnya, kalau you dapat result macam ni, let's say you punya knowledge uh, of the resident in Perak Tengah Desa, you dapat 50% saja. So you need to compare with other places. Is it same with others uh, in Batang Padang District, in Kinta District, in Ma uh, Mo'alim District? So you need to compare, right? Or you need to also compare in in others uh, uh, state, which is uh, Selangor, ka, Pe uh, Perlis, ka, Penang, and so on. Lah. So that is, this is the whole research process actually, right? Ada soalan tak setakat ni? Soalan? Okay eh, no, no question lah. Eh? Right, good. So now, this is the summary lah of the research process. You can take note this one, right? So your your task, you need to come up with a research proposal uh, before the next class. Sebab kita tak banyak class kita ada kan? The tujuh kelas saja, so uh, I can supply uh, research instrument to you, and then I will supply uh, how uh, the videos, the lecture videos yang I dah buat untuk uh, next uh, uh, lecture topic, right? So you need to uh, tengok lecture yang akan bagi kemudian uh, dalam minggu depan, right? And then uh, you come up with a research proposal. So This one bukan work seorang-seorang lah. I, I bagi tahu uh, terus terang uh, untuk research proposal ni eh, bukan kerja seorang. Dia kena kerja berkumpulan. And always refer to the literature. Kena tak faham apa kena research to uh, literature. Kalau you tak faham apa you can always ask me lah. Right? So now let look at the idea to research. So basically we already have the idea lah kan because I already give to you. And so, but, but you need to look at the foundation, right? The basic knowledge, how to get the idea. The idea basically can come from a criteria, uh, initially unclear and from many sources. Lah. So criteria means we want to solve a problem. So that, uh, that want to be, that can be an, uh, an idea, right? Elaborate the theories, new thought. Uh, so this one, so more are the last source of idea lah. You have a problem, this that, that one going to be your idea juga. You, so let's say you have a theories in mathematics, in science, we have a theory. Right? So you want to prove the theory, so you, that also an idea. And if you have a new thought, right, so it can be an idea juga. But idea can boleh datang daripada pelbagai source lah. Such as a bibliography, audiovisual, theories, discovery, belief or internet lah. Right, so this is a source of ideas. Right, so idea represent the close approach to reality that will be researched. Right, there are lots of different resources that can generate ideas. So at the beginning, the idea are unclear. So we need to clear up the the idea. So how to clear up the idea? We need to do. We need to write some some question and do a research. Right, so it's a uh, they require careful analysis in order to transform into structured and precise research statement lah. Right, so example uh, idea to research right example. Lah. 
So writing about romantic relationship. So you have an idea, you want to do a research about romantic relationship. So you need to, where to start? You need to uh, ask uh, some question, basic question. What aspect make a relationship pleasant and satisfactory? So at this point, the idea is unclear. Lah. So since different aspects may be involved, such as age, psychological factor, clinical factor, soci sociological factor. So you need to choose one of the factor to, to do a research. So basically, idea is a broad uh, uh, um, uh, area and then you want to, you're going to specify the area in the uh, idea that you have, right? So. In order to decide, researcher will have to read article, book, talk to specialized, professional, talk to actual couple. So this is uh, to to uh, to do research lah. To decide the research, you can baca banyak, uh, talk to the specialized expert of uh, people, and and talk to the actual couples lah. All these to get better familiarization lah. Nah, macam kita punya contoh uh, kita yang kita nak buat dengue fever prevention. Initially, you don't have any uh, uh, ideas yang, uh, the idea is going to be very unclear. So, apa yang I nak you buat sebelum ni adalah, tengok jurnal. Baca dulu jurnal. Apa yang orang cakap dengan, berkenaan dengan uh, dengue. Apa yang prevalence dia. Di Malaysia, berapa banyak prevalence, berapa banyak cases. And then, apa uh, uh, knowledge orang lain di tempat-tempat lain. And berapa banyak knowledge Apa yang dia tanya dalam knowledge tu Kita nak tengok And then apa attitude orang lain di, di, di past, Based on past research uh, research, And what is the uh, outcome for the practice right, So kita baca ni semua yang I bagi 8 soalan, 10 soalan tu Untuk you to get the familiarization right, So that's why Kalau you tak buat that one Then you don't have any idea Or the, your idea your idea tu masih unclear You tak tahu apa lagi nak buat so, you dah baca uh, dua, tiga and combine, you baca semua yang um, uh, group member you buat. I hope there will be a clear or ataupun dia akan polish sedikit lah unclear uh, idea tu. Right? So, if you look at this diagram, this is a simple diagram. Idea always uh, vice versa with uh, literature review lah. Uh, so you can uh, always refer to literature review so once you have an idea always have a research question so you need to tanya lah what is the current knowledge of people uh, regarding dengue fever prevention what is the current attitude of people regarding dengue fever prevention and what is the current practice of people Regarding dengue fever prevention, that is the I, the question that we're going to ask uh, in our research, can. And then once you already have a research question, then you can formulate a research hypothesis. So I think kalau you dah pernah masuk I punya kelas dulu, uh, uh, the, uh, business analytics, ada sebut ada aja sikit berkenaan dengan hypothesis. We have a null hypothesis and Alternative hypothesis. Nanti kita akan tengok ini detail juga. Agak ajar balik semua dalam ni. Right. So, there are 20 ways to generate of generating ideas from previous research. First, we can repeat the study replication. So, what we want to do is yang untuk case in uh, our, our group, kita nak repeat the studies. Right. So, tak kisahlah dekat Kinta District ke, dekat uh, Perak Tengah District ke, dekat Bantar Padang ke, Mualim ke. So, kita nak repeat the studies. That's why you kena refer back to the literature lah. Right. So, once you, uh, another one is repeat the study with different group or participant. Uh, this is what we want to do lah. So, we want to repeat the study but in different area. Right. Look for factor that we are not, uh, that were not controlled. Use more realistic amount of treatment factor and so on lah. Ada banyak kan? Uh, so, ada 20. So, you boleh baca balik. Nanti, I akan bagi uh, uh, apa nama, this slide. Uh, after this class, I akan bagi lah. So, you kena baca this one. Uh, 20 ways to generate a research idea. This one going to be in your test. Right, choosing a research topic. 
So, tadi I dah cakap kan, ada the criteria and element needed. So, criteria, clarity and data recollection. Alright, and then uh, needed element, so variability, justification, research question and objective lah. So, this is the needed element right, in choosing a research topic. So, mesti kena ada objective of starting with the question. Starting with the question, we translate it to the research objective and hypothesis. Right, so research objective, once the researcher got acquainted and familiar with the topic, then it is possible to set up a research topic lah. So unlike uh, unlike yours, right, I dah bagi research topic dekat awal, uh, dekat you as uh, siap, then you need to get familiarization lah. Uh, so get familiarization dengan baca journal. Right, tengok apa yang orang dah buat. Right. There are certain criteria that is need in order to narrow down the general topic to just write research topic. So from let's say I have idea initially I have what I want to do about dengue fever. Right. So dengue fever dia ada banyak. Why they uh, they punya uh, apa kita boleh kaji berkenaan dengan the virus. We can get study about the the vector and kita boleh study berkenaan dengan uh, cuaca macam-macam eh? lain and then yang kita nak familiarize kita nak narrow down yang I dah narrow down adalah I nak study kenapa kes ni berlaku kes ni makin meningkat we want to know whether uh, people still lack of knowledge ke? or what if, or what if kalau knowledge of the people is okay 90% and they have bad attitude so is it contributing to the rise of uh, dengue fever cases uh, ataupun kita nak tahu sama ada uh, dia boleh jadi sama ada uh, attitude people is good and knowledge also good but their lack of practice dan dia pemalas dan dia malas nak nak practice so that might be the reason the dengue cases increase right so now Research top and the criteria has to be straightforward usually as a question lah. Uh, that's why I sebut tadi, I nak tahu why, what is the current knowledge of people? What is the current attitude of people? Either good attitude or bad attitude regarding dengue fever prevention. What is the current practice? Is it people doing uh, prevention ataupun dia tak prevent, dia tak practice yang knowledge yang dia ada? So, for example, how inspirational is people so? So this is not a good. Uh, this is a not a good question lah. Uh, how inspirational a good a person so? So this is not a good research topic since inspirational is not something that measurable. So as I said in previous uh, uh, lecture. It should be measurable and then bentuk smart and specific this is uh, you need to find a research question then very specific and measurable and it means smart it's measurable measurable means uh, kita nak measure soul ni tak boleh lah right? inspirational ni macam nak measure kan kalau nak no, nak measure knowledge boleh kita menggunakan uh, kita bagi soalan test kalau jawab betul, kita bagi satu markah. Jawab salah, kita bagi kosong markah. So, kita boleh measure benda tu. Attitude pun boleh measure juga. Menggunakan Likert Scale. Either is a good uh, attitude or bad attitude. Kita boleh bagi numbers. Kita can measure. Practice also can do. Right? Practice macam soalan test jugalah. Dia do-do, dia bagi satu markah. Kalau dia tak buat, kita bagi kosong markah. Right? So, there also some element that should be taken into consideration in order to choose research topic. So the guideline for research, what is the main purpose of the research? We want to solve the problem, we want to prove a theory or introduce a new knowledge, right? So this is the uh, purpose, uh, the consideration, uh, consideration in uh, research objective. So kalau kita tengok kejap, eh, I nak tunjuk, this one I'm going to skip, but tapi you boleh tengok lah. Uh, the example of uh, this, uh, romantic relationship, this is another example. Now the researcher got familiarization with the topic, look at the source, talk to the expert and figure out some of the important factor on in the relationship. So, daripada tadi unclear, dia dah, dia dah pergi baca buku, dia pergi tengok journal, dia talk to the expert and figure out some of the 
factors, important factors that contribute to the romantic relationship, such as a physical attraction, trust, physical proximity, positive reinforcement, similarities between partners. So this is one of the uh, the factors that they identified uh, through reading. Right? Talk to expert, reading and figure out something. Lah. So knowing this, researchers should plan the his objectives to be any of the following. Daripada daripada factor-factor ni, dia boleh formulate dia punya objektif lah to determine if physical attraction, trust, physical proximity uh, oops mana tadi? Uh, similarities play important role over the development of a romantic uh, relationship among uh, Malaysian teenagers another objective would be to evaluate so they see ya, they, they punya term depan eh, to determine so we want to determine and then the one is to evaluate the most important factor in the development of romantic relationship among Malaysian teenagers if you uh, masuk dalam I punya kelas dulu uh, business analytics and GT 555 right so you are you are the belajar linear regression remember so you can use linear regression to evaluate the most important factor in the development of romantic relationship among Malaysian teenagers right so another another one is to analyze if gender matter in a level of importance that assists as assigned to the different factor and so on lah. so I nak tunjuk dekat you so I'm going to skip this one I'm going to show you Uh, so, yeah. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Tak apa, nanti I, I tunjuk. Bila dah sampai slide tu, I tunjuk lah. Ha? No worries. Um, okay, question. Must be together with the objective lah. Creating question will be, will present a top, the, in the topic in a direct matter. And direct manner, minimizing the distorting lah. So, question pun sama juga. Dalam question, objective and Hypothesis mesti follow SMART, S M A R T, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timeliness. I ulang banyak kali ya setiap lecture I ulang benda tu, right? Because that one is very important, right? The question or questions might not deal with the topic on in its entirely, but we will also help guide the research. Now maybe the tak the question tu tak menyeluruh, they are very specific. Tapi dia akan help to guide the research. And you can remember the research cycle. Last lecture I bagi tau. Uh, you start with a question. You do some research. And you, when you complete a research, then you can rise a new question from the current research. Now you always going to rise a new question on the current research. Lah. So, so now, question should be concrete since general question will not help lah. So, tadi I dah cakap, mesti specific. Kalau general question, tak akan bantu. So, tengok eh. Why some people happier than others? This is not, this is very general question. Why do some marriage has last more than others? This is also a general question. So, general and actually end up generating more question lah. So, kita tak nak uh, dalam doing research, starting a research, kita tak nak generate more question lagi. If they ask a specific question, once we already finish the question at the research, baru kita generate a question. So that is a cycle of research lah. So another example uh, for question, yeah? the question might might help with the specific research could be of the following. This is an example of romantic relationship. All of the factors discussed previously affect the boyfriend and girlfriend interesting interest in pursuing. Uh, producing and continuing 
the relationship. So, kita boleh baca lagi this one. Example, this is the example. Which factor is the main one that affect boyfriend and girlfriend interest in pursuing and continuing the relationship? So, we want to know what is the main factor. Right? Either age is the main factor ke? Social attraction ke? Physical attraction ke? And so on lah. Does the level of importance for each of the uh, this factor depend on if you ask man or woman? So, sama tak kalau level of importance ni dekat man dengan woman? Sama tak uh, dia punya factor-factor? Kita nak tengok the difference. Right? So, this is a very specific question. Right? So, justification. This is just an explanation for your research and its importance. Uh, justification lah. So, some reason why a specific research might be important so you need to have a convenient why it is important what benefit it would it come it for it and practical implication it is impractical so this is the justification and you are going to put in chapter one right you want to do a dengue okay knowledge attitude and practice on dengue fever prevention at perak tengah district for example okay so you need to explain why This research is so very important to knowledge, uh, ataupun you know, the significance of the research uh, to knowledge, community and policy maker. Contoh, you boleh elaborate. Is it uh, is it benefit to people or benefit to the government or benefit to the companies kan, business kan? Uh, so is it beneficial? Kan? So you need to identify a practical implication. So is it practical to do this research? Uh? So why people need to know your research? Uh, this is the justification that you need to identify dalam uh, chapter 1. Boleh faham eh? Uh, I cakap panjang dekat sejam ni. Uh, ada soalan tak? Ada soalan tak? Silakan ni. Eh? Boleh faham eh? Alright, so faham tu boleh. Nak buat nanti macam mana? Okay? Uh, so viability, this has to do with your the possibility of performing research with the resource that are available, available. Do you have enough money, time, people to help you carry out uh, the research? So of course, in doing research, you need uh, you need to spend time. You need to spend time, read a lot, write a lot, right? In your uh, research process, right? And then you need to plan with your team member which research design you nak pakai as the cross sectional ke longitudinal ke case control ke retrospective prospective experimental quasi experimental yang mana satu you nak pilih ataupun you nak buat qualitative so i'm not suggesting you to do a qualitative research in this topic in this subject you should focus on quality uh, quantitative lah because i already give to you a topic that uh, specifically Uh, focus on quantitative uh, design but uh, you need to decide which research design you nak pakai uh, study design you nak pakai quality uh, uh, cost sectional ke case control ke and so on lah uh, but you need to be very uh, confident lah and then kena beritahu dekat I whether is it correct or not I will uh, tell you So now let's look at an example of research topic. We have children and TV. This is topic that we want to do. The objective is to investigate the time that children dedicate to watch television. So ada masa-masa tak uh, children ni tengok TV? Ataupun sepanjang hari dia tengok. Eh, tak ada limit uh, waktu. To describe which shows are most watched by children who live in Shah Alam. Contoh. This is one of the uh, objective lah. So the, to determine the function and satisfaction, satisfaction that children who live in Shah Alam or by obtain by what, watching television, right? to determine the amount of control that parents have over their t- children TV watching activities. So sekarang ni dah ada smart TV lah apa semua kan? Eh? So kena berhati-hati uh, bagi te- uh, anak-anak tengok YouTube lah apa semua kan? Right? Uh, so research question. You tengok ah to investigate the time that children dedicate to watch television. So this is your objective. Your research question should always 
refer to their objective. How much time do different type of children spend watching TV? Right. So, uh, what are these children favorite TV show? What type of and how much control do parents have over how much TV their children watch? Right. So, this is uh, another uh, example. Lah, eh? So, justification. This, the fact, this fact has generated question among parents, teacher, researcher and others. So, this is justification why we need to do the research about relationship between the child and television and the effect or that this has over uh, the child right so this is the justification so you need to identify in your research uh, uh, chapter one and think justification why you need to do this research right we jangan letak uh, sebab uh, doktor nasir bagi eh dia uh, kena justification kenapa kena buat research ni jangan letak uh, requirement of the uh, subject no no is that is that is not a good justification lah justification must be uh, very concrete regarding the topic right why people need to know uh, the topic about the new fever knowledge attitude and practice on the fever prevention why this is very important what is the uh, practical uh, side punya uh, views and then you think about this ini the relationship between research objective research question and hypothesis so research hypothesis uh, objective research question and hypothesis are interrelated so they mesti sama kalau you buat let's say the uh, the research question what is the current knowledge of people in uh, regarding dengue fever prevention in perak tengah district so that is your question the objective will be we want the objective is to measure the current knowledge of people regarding dengue fever prevention at Perak Tengah District. That nampak tak dia punya mesti sama kan? So the hypothesis the knowledge of people regarding dengue fever prevention is very high more than 50% contoh kata. Right so that is related lah. So, research hypothesis are possible answer to research question. Objectives are more general in nature while research question is and hypothesis are more specific. So, you can think about this. Some example of research objective. To measure the effectiveness of road safety campaign. Uh, this is the objective. Let's look at the question. To measure the effectiveness of road safety campaign. So, the question will be, are road user aware of the campaign? What is the attitude of road user towards the campaign? Is there significant reduction in number of accident cases as the result of the campaign? So, so this is what uh, object uh, question daripada objective ni lah, right? So this is another question kan in psychology, business, biology and so on. You boleh balik baca nanti. I akan bagi you slide ni. You boleh tengok baca lah. So now kita akan tengok uh, research hypothesis. Right. Research hypothesis and educated guess or prediction of what will happen. So remember uh, in hypothesis yang kita belajar dulu tapi tak apa I akan tunjuk. Wait ah. Uh. I tak boleh tulis. Yeah. Right. So. So, uh, a hypothesis is a uh, educated guess lah or prediction that what will happen, right? So the proposed uh, relationship between factor called variable. So let's say we think of uh, oops. Hypothesis. So remember, hypothesis we have two hypotheses let's see you boleh nampak slide eh, kan right so hypothesis kita ada dua hypothesis satu null hypothesis satu lagi alternative hypothesis you boleh nampak ini slide eh i bought dalam presentation mode 
Slide hepatitis slide hepatitis nampak nampak. Okay good good. So dalam hepatitis uh, kita ada dua. This is what we call uh, null hypothesis. Right? And this is what we call alternative hypothesis. Right? So uh, nak uh, H HA lah ataupun H1. Oops. Saya tak bagi clear sikit. Right. Null hypothesis, H null, H not. Uh, alternative hypothesis selalunya dia kita letak H1 ataupun HA lah. Mana-mana dalam buku pun ya, dia akan tulis antara dua ni lah. Null hypothesis bermaksud tidak ada apa-apa yang berjadi. So contohnya, there are uh, no relationship between A and B. So this is a uh, null hypothesis. There are no relationship. In alternative hypothesis, there is a relationship between A and B. So, kalau kita nampak dekat sini, uh, the uh, hypothesis dia benar macam ni saja. So, dia ada null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So, if you still remember dalam MGT 555, pernah masuk tak kelas I MGT 555? Siapa yang tak pernah masuk? Semua dalam ni ada masuk Ah, ok, good, good Kalau yang pernah masuk kan, you should be able to remember lah Right, kita ada dua, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis Null hypothesis, there are no relationship between A and B There are no difference between A and B, contoh So, alternative hypothesis, there is a relationship between A and B So, dalam research hypothesis, dia mesti ada uh, variable Dia mesti sebut, what is Apa yang kita nak buat? So, we want to find a relationship contoh. So, there is relationship. And it mesti ada call factor, variable. A and B. So, variable ni mesti ada independent variable and dependent variable. Right? X and Y lah. Independent variable. So, let's say, kalau kita tengok uh, this one. Example. Uh, example kan? Eh, tapi sebelum kita masuk example, um, this one, I think you boleh baca balik lah sendiri. So, I have a research question. What is the relationship between number of cigarette smoke and the risk of heart disease? So, this is my research question. We want to know what is the relationship. If the people smoke more cigarette and uh, is people mo uh, smoke, mo uh, smoke more cigarette and the risk will be higher or lower? Uh, so, kita nak tahu itu. So, the objective will be to measure the relationship between number of cigarette and risk of heart disease. So, remember kita tengok sini, there is a uh, variable dekat sini and kita nak measure relationship. This is a research question. Research objective, sama juga. Benda yang sama, I translate to measure. Eh, daripada what is, we want to measure. So we want to measure the relationship between number of cigarette and number of a uh, number of cigarette smoke and risk of getting heart disease. And uh, research hypothesis, research hypothesis, you no need to put two uh, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. You pilih satu saja tak kisah. I rasa you pilih null hypothesis ataupun alternative hypothesis. Selalunya orang akan letak alternative hypothesis, right? So you boleh tahu there is no relationship. Ini is a null hypothesis yang you boleh translate to. There is a relationship between number of cigarette smoke and the risk of heart disease. So, this is independent variable, number of cigarette smoke and the risk of getting heart disease is dependent variable. So, we have two variable here and this is the analysis that we want to do which is relationship. So, you nampak tak? Ketiga-tiga uh, a research question, objective and hypothesis are interrelated. They tak boleh tiba-tiba tukar benda lain. Boleh faham eh? So when you want to do your research nanti, right? So your question is, what is the current knowledge 
uh, so kita tanya what is the relationship between knowledge and attitude of people regarding dengue fever prevention contoh your objective kan eh? your your research question your objective is we want to measure the relationship between knowledge and attitude regarding dengue fever prevention and the research hypothesis will be there is a relationship between knowledge and attitude between uh, on regarding dengue fever prevention boleh eh? ada soalan saya cakap ni aku tak faham ke boleh, boleh tanya soalan no worries ada soalan kita standard format ke Uh, standard format tu macam mana boleh, boleh stick up tak? Maksudnya uh, standard format ni research yang, question yang sama kan? Uh, tak. Mungkin your team research question you want you just want to measure the the knowledge. Right? How many uh, is it uh, more than 50 or less than 50? Oh format research nanti saya akan tunjuk. Don't worry. Uh, lepas ni saya akan tunjuk. Uh, I think sebelum ni ada tunjuk kot uh, dalam dalam sekejap dalam uh, slide number slide yang pertama tu yang lecture sekejap ada tunjuk tak? saya rasa ada tunjuk sekejap eh Masih, ha, ada tunjukkan konten standard format tu kan? Ha. This is a research report. Alamak, saya punya ni tak register lah pula. Ha, you boleh tengok balik dalam chapter 1 punya slide eh. Dalam page number 33 ke macam mana tu. Okay. Ha, tengok balik. Dia punya format dia dah, dah bagi dah. Saya siap. Okay. Ada soalan? Ah, ya, Fak Nur Farah. Soalan? Buka soalan, saya nak Entah lah, Doktor, saya nak minta izin Nak keluar dari kelas ni Sebab ada game bola jari Ada apa? Ya? Ada apa? Ada apa tadi? Ada apa tadi? Game bola jari Oh ya, okay, okay, okay Ayah Terima kasih Doktor Terima kasih Okay Uh, so this is a research, a sample of null hepatitis lah. There are no significant difference, there are no significant effect, there are no evidence, no significant impact, no in evidence, no significant. So remember tadi I dah sebut, uh, dalam null hepatitis, there are no relationship. So in null hepatitis, kita nak de deny semua benda. Right? There are no relationship, there are no difference, no apa, no, 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 semua dalam null hepatitis. That's why. Uh, they should include no lah right? Tak ada apa Sebab kita nak deny semua benda So in alternative hypothesis Kita nak uh, Kita nak measure Is there any relationship uh, So kita Dalam uh, null hypothesis There are no significant impact So alternative hypothesis There is a significant impact Macam tu There are no significant difference In alternative hypothesis There is a significant difference Boleh faham kan Dari perbezaan itu So, so I think uh, can you identify the in, you, you understand kan the independent variable and dependent variable macam mana? Dependent variable depend on others variable. Contoh, uh, heart disease depend on how many cigarettes you smoke. So you punya waste of perut kan uh, depend on how many food you eat. Contoh, so you punya CGPA depend on how many hours you spend to study, right? So, others yang variable yang tak de tak depend is called as dependent independent variables. Contoh, uh, is there a relationship between occurrence of back hit, uh, back aid and the amount of time spent? So, this one occurrence of back aid is depending on the amount of time spent. So I have exercise, right? Uh, so exercise ni boleh tak you screenshot? 
uh, and uh, screenshot and ada empat solution empat uh, problem situation dekat sini I want you to screenshot uh, first one dah dah bagi tahu dah okey alright situation number one so baca soalan dia and elaborate what is the problem statement research objective research question for the following situation so tengok dekat sini so dia kata kat sini Baitumal College at Kota Baru planning to introduce a free bus service within campus for their lecturers administrative uh, staff student and visitors this is one of the several alternative proposed to reduce traffic congestion within campus so this is going to be uh, the research problem lah Nah, dia kata nak cari research problem problem statement kan so dia ada research apa dia kata di eh, sini adalah uh, traffic is very congested lah within the campus so that's why they want to introduce a free bus service so the administrative staff student visitor who are interested to use bus service uh, Baituma College will also like to identify strategic location so they want to know why is the strategic location so this is a research question uh, and then outside the campus as pick up point are also interested to determine frequency of pick up uh, for the uh, for each point right so what is the frequency of uh, people who want to board a bus okay? so they're going to be a two research question and two research objective so you dah screenshot this one so this one I dah bagi free uh, example you boleh balik you boleh nanti lepas ni try to identify right? once you already identify ni I think you should be able to identify any uh, research problem objective in the literature review sudah right so situation number two this is just a practice ah huh? uh, practice saja okay situation number three dah and situation number four Boleh? Nombor dua, nombor dua, nombor dua. Okay, nombor dua. Alright. Okay, done. Nombor empat dah kan? Semua dah, ha? Alright. So, I think ada soalan tak sebelum kita masuk uh, part, second part, which is a literature review. This is the most important part. Ada soalan tak? Yes, uh, Muhammad Amirul. Kalau tak ada soalan, I think uh, kita rehat dulu selama uh, 5 minit. Uh, 5 minit kita rehat and kita continue on literature review. Uh, kita nak habiskan 183 muka, uh, slide ni. <laughs> okay, kita tunggu sekejap. Eh. 5 minit. So, kita masuk second part which is uh, literature review. So, this is the most important part in research lah. Macam tadi, I cakap dalam research process, everything we need to refer to literature review. Right. Mana tadi, this is uh, slide number 48. Uh, if you still remember, tadi ada sebut. Oh, this one. Right. Semua proses dalam research ni always refer back to literature review. So this is the why literature review is very important in doing research lah. Right. So literature review is an integral integral part of the research process. It make a valuable contribution to almost every operational step. So that's why last task last class I bring satu task dekat you untuk Cari satu atau dua jurnal Setiap seorang dua jurnal And try to summarize Ambil nak summarize macam mana Tengok question-question tu Try jawab eh, Kalau soal uh, dalam jurnal tu Tak ada soalan-soalan apa yang boleh dijawab Kena cari jurnal lain lah Yang mana make our uh, question Right 
bukan kita semua uh, semua benda yang kita buka kita, kita download uh, semua tu mesti kena dengan kita punya research question and research objective dengan soalan-soalan yang kita nak tanya bukan semua akan jadi macam tu so kita kena pandai carilah uh, kena cari-cari lagi yang mana berkenaan sahaja dengan soalan yang kita nak cari has a value even before the first step that is when you are merely thinking about the research question that you may want to find answer through your research journey so it has a very good uh, important step before you start dengan first step of the research which is uh, you are thinking about research uh, idea or research topic or problem right so help to establish the theoretical roots of your study it serve to enhance your consolidate your and consolidate your own knowledge base and help to integrate your finding with the existing body of language and knowledge right so function of literature review or lr huh? literature review lr is a short form bring clarity and focus to your research problem so initially you don't have uh, clarity now right? your, your idea is unclear so you need to go to a literature review find some books find some uh, previous research to clear or polish your idea improve your research methodology you, from the research previous research right from a literature review you can also always look at how they do it right let's say they are doing knowledge attitude and practice uh, on dengue fever prevention let's say at uh, tropical country so how they do it how they have, they have choose their punya study design berapa banyak sample size yang dia guna apa sampling techniques yang dia pakai right and then uh, apa soalan-soalan yang dia tanya right semua tu dia, dia akan improve kita punya uh, note methodology lah we can adapt or adopt uh, the research methodology used in previous research you can broaden your knowledge based on your research area contextualize your findings right so creating outline and reviewing literature after a previous step have that have been complete it is important to for the researcher to analyze approach that help with the foundation of the topic macam contoh yang hari tu ai bagi dekat tu uh, you ai soalan soalan tu kan you kena letak dalam uh, table excel kan so itulah uh, you kena analyze eh? maksudnya you tengok uh, this paper number one dia guna method uh, sample size dia apa Probabil, uh, probabilistic sample technique or non probabilistic sample technique berapa banyak sample size dia ambil berapa banyak knowledge uh, dia find eh? and then apa sampling technique uh, sampling uh, seri design dia pakai so usually observe as an index with title and subtitles lah macam mana kita nak cari kita mencari menggunakan index with title and subtitle it is important to know that looking over at that uh, at the existing literature help out with the figuring uh, figuring out the best way and most importantly the manner in which we want to deal with our research and the topics right so theory right actual study knowledge that help understand event uh, situation and contact it is it describe explain predict and finally orient the research process criteria to ev uh, evaluate of the theory to able to explain describe and predict logical consistency perspective that uh, it explain the topic most um, almost totally uh, innovation capability to generate new discoveries and simpli uh, simplicity not required but desire in order to e to easily understand it lah. so this is a theory of literature review so what is a literature search? We know that we, we need to do a literature review. So, first, we need to, to do the literature review. We need to search for the literature. Lah. So, search for literature is identification of what is has been already written on the topic of interest. So, selanjutnya, last, last class, kita tengok dalam Google Scholar. Yeah, kita tengok on the topic the keyword kita type the keyword and then kita akan dapat the uh, narrow uh, search on the topic that we want to search lah investigation of literature on 
on research methodology where appropriate lah so kita nak tengok uh, literature uh, methodology yang dia pakai a basis for judging the feasibility of a proposed project uh, based on what is known it is reasonable to assume whether the objective of, of the project can be achieved so literature survey so there are a term in, in, in research which is a literature survey so literature survey means that we are surveying uh, the past research we are doing survey but not to people to the existing or previous research right so we kita tengok documentation of a comprehensive review of a published and unpublished work from a secondary source of data in the area of specific interest of researcher. So, example of literature survey, selalunya kita akan buat systematic review or meta analysis. Right? For example, kita boleh tengok dalam journal, boleh nampak sini, kecil sangat kan? Nah, kita besarkan sikit. For example, kita boleh tengok dalam journal, proceeding, uh, conference proceeding, books, doctoral, dissertation, government, publication, financial and marketing report. Lah. This is uh, from a secondary search. So the main element of the literature search. So first, we need to a selection of useful and accurate keywords. So we need to have accurate keyword uh, relating to the topic of interest and then we need to identification of high quality resource so we cannot simply select all uh, search uh, 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 result dalam google scholar kita kena tengok juga the publication dia tu macam mana is it the high quality resource or low quality resource so how to identify high quality and low quality so high quality is a referred uh, journal lah, referred publication. Maksudnya sebelum author tu nak hantar uh, for publication, dia ada uh, a reviewer yang akan semak kerja-kerja author ni. And then bila reviewer kata okay, then baru dia publish. That is a referred uh, publication lah. Uh, unrefereed publication maksudnya uh, dia hantar terus publish uh, Tak kisahlah dalam tu ada salah ke betul kan Dia publish juga So kita kena berhati-hatilah And then the element is retrieval of information is basically uh, refers to these two uh, element ni First ni Effective management of search Keeping track of what you find So you tak download dua kali atau tiga kali right? So you dah download You kena letak dalam folder You kena letak based on the topic Right, baru you boleh nampak lah So you dah download ke, belum download ke Dah tengok, dah baca ke, belum baca lagi right? So a good literature survey So this is the most important Make sure you uh, take note this one Ensure the important variable are not left out from the study So we need to ensure the important variable are not left out right? Help the, the development of the theoretical framework and hypothesis testing Right Ensure the problem statement precise and clear. So it will uh, ensure the uh, problem statement precise and clear. So they akan bagi tahu dalam literature tu, they akan bagi what is a problem statement? What is a problem uh, of choosing the topic? Right? The idea of choosing the topic. So kalau dia tak state tu, dia bukan uh, good literature re uh, review lah. Uh, past uh, uh, publication lah. So enhance testability and replicability. So setiap research is must be replicate, replicate lah. So research yang tak boleh replicate itulah bukan good research. So kita kena tengok balik dengan criteria of the good research. Reduce the risk of inventing the wheel. Confirm that the problem perceived as relevant and significant. So conducting literature review. So based on Ranjit Kumar 2018, there are four steps involved in conducting a literature review. So first, we need to search for existing literature in the area of the study, review the selected literature, develop a theoretical framework and develop a conceptual framework. So maksudnya, daripada searching a liter existing literature, kita baca a past research, kita boleh identify the factor that contribute to our problem. Let's say, for 
uh, knowledge right kita boleh identify what kind of a uh, uh, question yang ditanya untuk knowledge and kita note, note down note down and select and review the selected literature tu benda yang samalah kita kena review lah so connecting literature review benda yang samalah data source searching for literature evaluating literature and documenting the literature right so this is the word uh, the 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 element that you need to do in doing literature search So general article, books, conference proceeding, government, corporate report, newspaper, thesis, internet, CD-ROM, this is all time lah, uh, magazine, this is all the literature or data source lah, literature search, literature source, right? So normally kita akan skip lah internet, CD-ROM, magazine, uh, and then we are going to focus on general article, books, conference proceedings, and government report is paper lah books or is not uh, up to date lah ha. selalu kalau dalam yang kita kena yang up to date kita akan tengok journal article and conference proceeding lah alright uh, so yang ni semua I akan uh, biar untuk you baca journal article ni apa dia right books ni apa dia you baca sendiri ya nanti I akan bagi eh so conference proceeding ni apa you need to understand lah the definition ni semua Right, so I not going to explain in this lecture. I'm giving you a task. Nanti lepas uh, class ni, I can upload the slides. So you need to read what is a general article. Yeah, it's a up to date information. Right, books to apa less up to date. Right, uh, conference proceeding can be useful in providing latest research that or research that are not published. Right. So government or corporate reports, right? Uh, ini setahun sekali ujung uh, setiap uh, dia punya nak tutup buku tu, uh, dia, dia akan publish report lah. So newspaper, uh, newspaper generally intend to for a general lah, not specialized audience. Uh, the information they provide will be very limited use for literature review lah. Dia tak boleh tak sangat nak guna untuk literature review, but you can get the idea from a newspaper. So it's a uh, uh, often newspaper are more helpful as a provider of information about recent trend, discovery or change lah. So this thesis and dissertation is a uh, can be difficult to obtain, but you can obtain the thesis and dissertation from a library. You need to go walk into the library and go to the terminal uh, untuk obtain the new uh, new which, new thesis lah. Kalau tak, you boleh pergi ke website untuk cari. Uh, thesis, right? Tapi selalunya tak uh, yang lama-lama selalunya -lama, adalah internet is a fast growing source information, so not all uh, thing in internet can be trusted. So I I need you need to bear in mind that anyone can post information from the internet lah on the internet, uh, so the quality may may be questionable lah, not reliable, right? So the information you may find intended for general audience and not so suitable for uh, your your research, right? For literature review. So in literature review, please avoid internet or blog or uh, anything dalam internet. You need to avoid lah. Uh, uh, maksudnya blog ke website ke kan? You can, uh, you need to avoid. CD room, uh, CD room I don't think uh, existing exists anymore. So this one kalau you pergi ke library the old time old time dulu adalah sekarang dah tak ada. Magazine intended for general audience, right? Ya, uh, magazine selalunya bukan majalah manga ke apa semua tu lah. Ah uh, selalu majalah sayang uh, magazine yang specialize to the specific uh, problem. Contoh for statistician we have a significance for uh, business we have times and so on lah. So, searching for literature. So, your library search assignment. So, so nak search, searching for literature. Last time I tunjuk dekat you, kita pergi ke mana? Okay. The, the, the most fastest one, kita pergi ke scholar.google.gov.com Right? Google Scholar kan? You pernah pergi sini? I hope you pernah pergi kan? So, search strategy there are the strategy lah so your topic dekat sini let's say your topic so you need to evaluate the quality evidence 
where to look you need to go to a library database uh, Google Scholar right and so on and then you need to identify the keywords and concept uh, you need to understand the keywords and concept that's it and then baru you akan dapat the, the your topic lah right so this is a literature review how it start the computer is very nice clean and so on so after you do a literature review you might end up with this lah banyak sangat benda yang you akan nampak yang akan baca uh, kemungkinan tak teratur lah so now literature search techniques right I think you skip there will be very uh, depending on where source you are searching so you should always investigate what advanced search techniques are offered by individual source as they are not be and uh, they will not be consistent and they takkan sama dengan setiap, setiap orang lah setiap research mungkin tak sama so some of regular techniques available so first you can use keywords you can use boolean searching either and or not right so dia ada uh, topik dekat sini you kena tengok sini combination of word phrase searching truncation maksudnya and you are as and you put a uh, star dekat sini will present nurse nurses nursing nursery so apa-apa yang lepas tu dia akan pick up so wildcard uh, searching right so al uh, uh, worm star n so dia akan search either e or a woman or woman right focus search fill tag or limit to your search lah contoh let's say kita punya searching oops let's say kita nak cari knowledge attitude and practice so kita letak knowledge kita letak dalam bentuk uh, comma ni apa nama orang panggil uh, inverted comma double quote double quote let's say kita letak knowledge attitude and practice so kita nak tengok tiga-tiga benda ni dalam satu topik and then kita nak letak lagi satu let's say I nak dalam bentuk dengue fever let's say kalau I, I, I tunjuk dekat you I tanpa code tanpa code I letak macam ni I letak natural language on dengue fever uh, dengue fever contoh kan you boleh nampak eh so, let's say I letak macam ni kan this is a natural language knowledge attitude and practice on dengue fever so let's say I tekan search so kalau nampak dekat atas ni dia ada about 20,100 result are found so 20,000 result ni sangat sangat susah lah nak cari nak cari yang mana satu nak baca kan sometimes dia tak dia tak related kalau yang mula-mula ni ok lah nampak kan knowledge attitude and practice regarding dengue fever amount of doubts so kalau you pergi ke next mungkin dia dah tak dia dah mungkin akan lari sikit Uh, uh, mungkin dia So nampaknya This one banyak orang buat kan Knowledge at, at practice So maybe dia akan masuk sekali Benda-benda yang lain lah Selain daripada denggi Kalau kita pergi ke bawah sekali Let's say kita pergi ke Tujuan let's say 10 So nampak tak Dia dah hilang dah ni dia, Knowledge dah hilang ni Masuk awareness and practice So denggi fever Impact of knowledge and present, uh, preventing practice So dia attitude dah hilang dah Dekat sini so that's why kita kena refine our uh, keyword ni word ni so let's say kita letak double quote dekat sini double quote dekat sini so i want google to find exact word knowledge attitude and practice and i letak and bersama-sama dengue fever so i take a search from 120000 i dah reduce kepada uh, 1600 40 right so 1640 all time maksudnya daripada tahun sebelum-sebelum sebelum ni sampai 2022 ataupun 2023 right so kalau let's say you nak the latest one so dalam literature search you always uh, find latest uh, last 5 years ni the latest 5 years maksudnya sekarang 2022 2021 2020 2019 2018 the, let, the paling lama jenis you, uh, you nak cari 2018 2014 ni boleh buang lah tak payah letak dalam you punya uh, search but sometimes you need this one uh, in case dalam bentuk uh, uh, apa nama 
uh, teori yang tak ada uh, yang kita nak tengok original teori dalam in mathematics science kan eh? sometimes dia 1984 1950 something kan ha uh, so itu pak sami juga so how to sort lagi you boleh pergi ke sebelah kiri ni dia ada since 2022 so it can since 2022 from 1600 so dia become 150 right <coughs> Or you can put some custom range. So let's say one twenty twenty two until twenty eighteen. So they can display uh, within this year saja. Ada sembilan ratus empat belas. So sembilan ratus empat belas artikel for you to 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 explore lah, right? To explore and to read. So or you can go to. Um, dekat sebelah sini right di sebelah hujung ni dia ada tiga line ni kan uh, double triple stack line so you pergi ke advanced search you always go to advanced search and then you boleh tengok dekat sini okay find the exact phrase knowledge attitude and practice and all words uh, dengue fever mungkin kita letak dekat sini lah kalau kita tak, tak, tak pandai nak guna lagi uh, apa nama Uh, and or bullion techniques tu kan so at least one words maybe prevention prevention without words let's say kita tak nak words uh, awareness kita tak nak word awareness so may uh, where the words may occur maybe uh, anywhere in article or in the title of article kita boleh pilih lah so kita nak senang kita ambil article lah uh, title of article So, this one kita boleh biar kosong lah. Kalau kita nak specific ni, boleh letak lah. So, kita tengok. Ada lima result saja. Ha, this one very specific. So, you boleh baca. The specific one. And knowledge, attitude and practice on dengue fever prevention on communities in Motiara, Ville, Cyberjaya. So, benda yang sama kan ni, Sun? Okay. So, ada empat lah basically. This one, knowledge, attitude and practice on dengue, homologic, uh, fever prevention ama mother in endemic uh, ini banyak ah ni riau kan uh, this one in uh, lahor pakistan this one in ah uh, lain lah tempat lain so very specific right so you boleh letak tu so kalau you tengok itu dalam title lah kalau you tak nak dalam title you can always refine your uh, search you boleh letak uh, instead of title letak anywhere in the article so dia akan lebih banyak sikit lah Nampak ada 220 Okay Boleh Sometimes dia akan benda yang sama lah Macam ni Okay ni Mandalay uh, City Myanmar Alright So Let's say kita nak lagi satu Let's say In Malaysia sahaja Contoh uh, Letak sini uh, At least one word uh, Kita letak this one Ni tak nak Okay um, Malaysia contoh. Malaysia So Search Maybe, uh, So dia kurang sikit 119 So dia akan sebut uh, Ada report dalam Malaysia Berapa banyak Malaysia ada berapa banyak So dia mesti akan report Right So this is how you do uh, Search and research lah Ulang-ulang uh, uh, cari So that, this is one of the way lah Untuk cari Uh, uh, literature search and using a literature uh, search techniques right contoh uh, you uh, contoh let's say dengue fever kan let's say kita nak letak dengue fever ni kita letak uh, hash, uh, star kat belakang kan star kat belakang so kita tengok dia akan tinggi uh, kurang sikit lah uh, so 95 maksudnya dengue fever so dia tak kisah dengue fever prevention ke semua dia, dia akan cari lah So kalau tengok sini Dia tak keluar lah pula ha, So dia ni tak boleh pakai lah macam ni Sebab dia akan keluar benda lain So maksudnya Knowledge, attitude and practice Towards eating physical activity So tak 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 boleh pakai lah Lenggi Right Okay This is one of the way Another one is You can go to library Library.uitm.edu.my So this is uh, our library, UITM library, right? You pernah masukkan UITM library kan? 
So this is go to our collection dekat sini. Right? And then once you go to our collection, you can go to online database. Online database. And then dekat sini you ada banyak a uh, database dekat sini. We have ACM database, American Chemical Society Journal. Uh, you can go to specific database such as uh, you can go to Cochrane Library. Cochrane Library. So bila you tekan tu, you, you akan nampak dia akan keluar login lah. So you can choose either using uh, Google which is your student punya uh, ID or you can use your student uh, student ID right mine is uh, staff ID so if I see passport you masuklah IC passport dia and then kita kan accept and tekan submit right uh, suppose dia akan keluar dekat Cochrane yeah so dia akan pergi Cochrane lagi so benda yang sama juga uh, perbezaan dengan Google Scholar ni Google Scholar adalah search engine Program uh, review is your database So you can put Exactly benda apa yang you nak Let's say kita nak record title Title uh, Title abstract keyword lah Let's say knowledge Attitude And practice On language Fever So kita start dengan natural word Natural uh, language and then uh, lepas tu kalau kita tembak sini uh, dia jumpa 12 sahaja right so kita boleh biarlah natural language ni kalau dia jumpa banyak then kita specifickan menggunakan boolean technique lah uh, that one is a, a search strategy first kita cari menggunakan language uh, natural language so kalau terlalu banyak kita nak specify kita kena menggunakan keyword right uh, and or uh, and all lagi satu lagi uh, not uh, yes so dekat sini knowledge attitude and practice of dengue prevention among Malaysian adult uh, so maybe this one this is a new one 2019 so boleh baca dekat sini dekat sini kita jumpa tak uh, let's say kita tengok 2019 uh, 2019 so ada tak Sepatutnya kena ada lah kat sini lah ha, Tapi kat sini lebih general lah Banyak lagi kena tengok kan Kalau, kalau dalam data, uh, database Dia lebih specific right? So this is about more Malaysian adult right? So senang nak baca Terus boleh buka yang baca lah So uh, library UITN dia bagi uh, Ada yang free ada yang kena bayar right? So you boleh baca kat sini So this one dia bagi dekat you um, The abstract so the abstract so you dapat abstract dekat sini so how to download so download uh, you cannot download this one because I don't think UITM subscribe here this one uh, so I think so kalau tak ada one of the way eh, kalau let's see kita tak nampak macam mana nak download paper ni kita tak ada so kita nak paper kita baca this one ok macam interesting sebab dia buat kat Malaysia so kita copy the title copy title go to uh, scholar google scholar balik right new google scholar and paste the title click search so click search uh, sepatutnya dia akan dekat sini kat Oh tak ada eh hmm. So maksudnya kena cari tempat lain lah uh. So So kalau tak ada Apa you buat You can always email to our Our Library Kat sebawah ni kan Dia ada Dia ada Dia ada Chat kan You boleh fill in the information and chat lah dengan library ni kata I nak paper ni juga ha, you tolong cari kat I so dia akan carilah ha, insyaAllah dia akan cari or dia ada method lain uh, tapi method tu you kena tengok uh, cari macam mana nak cari benda tu right dia ada cara lain right so I, I, tu yang tak, I tak boleh nak ajar lah itu 
right you can cari sendiri okay so that is uh, one of the way lah let's say selalunya kalau tak ada kat sini kita boleh pergi tempat lain juga let's say kita tengok dekat uh, EBSCO host uh, dekat sini dekat sini pun boleh dekat satu lagi dekat I3PE explore this is mainly for general banyak dalam ni and then kita can boleh pergi juga ke Scopus sign direct okay let's, let's go to sign direct sign direct so this is a sign direct so you boleh input keyword lah let's say knowledge attitude and practice practice on dengue fever so kita try yang natural word kalau you kita tengok berapa banyak yang dia bagi so dekat sini dia bagi 627 so kita boleh narrow down sikit kita letak macam ni and then kita letak the keyword and letak keyword dia and down lagi narrow down lagi so dia kita dapat 77 so dia akan cari so social demographic knowledge entity and practice on general population dengue fever rural Cambodia uh, so this is uh, another one boleh nampak kan so this is how I tunjuk lagi how we do literature search right kita satu uh, database tak ada kita boleh move to another database move to another database but you need to jot down lah database mana you pergi let's say Uh, you pergi ke sign direct so you masukkan input uh, this uh, keyword so berapa banyak result you jumpa pada hari apa pukul berapa sebab result esoknya mungkin berbeza dengan hari ini right? minggu depan dengan hari ini mungkin berbeza sebab research ni banyak orang dah submit kan so bila submit tu result dia mungkin bertambah 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 so you boleh tekan macam tu lah so let's say kita ambil this one uh, Knowledge, attitude and practice relating dengue fever uh, among female in Jeddah High School. So, this is 2009. So, kalau 2009 kita tak nak, kita nak 2000. Uh, until 2014 je kan. So, kita nampak kat sini. 2023 ada satu jurnal kita nak. 2022 ada 7, 23, 21 ada 3, 10, 11, 19 ada 3, 28 ada 4. So, kita, kita nak ini saja. So dia akan bagi berapa? 29 result. So dia akan narrow, narrow down lagi. So you banyak benda yang boleh baca fokus. In fokus lah. Tak perlu nak pening-pening. Banyak sangat nak baca apa semua kan. So you boleh narrow down you punya search. Boleh faham kan apa yang cakap ni? Kalau cakap sorang-sorang ni. Faham ah, kan? So let's say. Let's say this is 2022. Eh, 2020. So knowledge attitude and practice on climate change and dengue. So ni macam tak berapa kenal lah dengan kita, kita boleh kita skip. So, knowledge, attitude and practice regarding dengue, chikupinia and zika in Charlie, Cambodia. Maybe this one is related jugalah. So, kita tekan this one. So, dekat sini dia akan bagi uh, abstract. Abstract. And then kat bawah ni dia ada, dia punya paper lah. You also can download the research paper. You can also download the research paper. Right. So, dia akan keluar sekejap lagi. Depend on your internet connection lah So my internet connection maybe My computer is very slow now I'm using Windows 7 So sangat slow uh, So this is the paper that you boleh baca So nak baca tu Apa yang benda you nak take out Apa yang benda you nak pick up So kita kena pick up Beberapa benda lah kita kena tengok Let's say kalau you ada buku You buka muka surat Sekejap eh Ya, yeah. you buka muka surat 51 You ada buku tak? Siapa yang ada uh, Yang ada soft copy tu Boleh uh, sharing the soft copy Can you share the soft copy? Last time uh, ada yang cakap ada soft copy kan? Siapa yang cakap ada soft copy tu? Ada ibu kat sini kena bayar 15 dolar 15 dolar 15, eh, mahal lagi lah baik beli buku RM40 je kan? RM40, RM50, I think RM50 kan? I bayar RM50 hari tu RM50 kan? Ha. You beli buku lah uh, Dapatkan buku sepat mungkin This one very important Tak dapat buku ni susah So you nak tengok I nak suruh you think, uh, buat page 51 ni So you nampak tak? Reference dia, Dah buka semua ada buku Buka page 51 Buka 
page 51 Ya, saya cuba tengok gambar ha. Sen tu This is page number 51 eh Macam mana nak rotate ke sana So rotate Okay Ah, Nampak tak Page number 51 So Once you dah download the book uh, The journal You letak dalam bentuk table macam ni Dia ada reference uh, What is the reference Nanti kita akan belajar reference eh Nanti uh, next class So objective What is the objective of the research uh, Let's see kita tengok dalam paper tadi tu You kena search lah what is the objective Selalunya objective ada dekat uh, Hujung paragraph 1 uh, Introduction So kita tengok paragraph introduction Ataupun kita boleh tengok dekat uh, literature uh, abstract lah So dia akan beritahu let's say Kita baca sikit uh, Okay lah kena baca sikit Search lah nah, Kalau tak ada Kalau you boleh skip lah nah, Cari jenis lain pula Right So kena cari yang clear Senang kita nak baca yang ada Right Selanjutnya dia akan sebut lah uh, Where is the uh, Jenis punya uh, Objektif Contoh aku tukar ni This one Okay To investigate uh, So dia beritahu kat sini Dia dah beritahu objektif To investigate the factor associate With dengue preventive During war So this is during war eh Oh Ni, ni kajian yang lain sikit lah nah, Tapi this is one example lah So you ambil objective tu You letak dalam dalam table macam ni So what is your methodology? They using secondary data Time series analysis Entire period Berapa dia punya ni And then dependent variable ni apa? Apa dependent variable? Knowledge knowledge dia ada berapa Apa dia punya soalan dia You boleh tulis semua dalam ni Ada variable and finding What is the current knowledge? Berapa tulis? Berapa persen? Uh, attitude berapa persen? Uh, relationship Ada relationship tak Knowledge and attitude You boleh letak dalam paper, uh, Dalam table macam ni So uh, You have Done 10 journal Right So You need to go And research more On Others yeah, To be included Into your literature reviews Right So you can tra uh, translate Journal-journal yang you dah baca tadi tu Yang dalam 10 jurnal tu You letak dalam table macam ni pula Yang tadi tu yang first yang you buat tu Untuk you understand ni and letak dalam You nak ambil point-point tu Nak letak dalam introduction You punya literature review sikit But this is your literature review chapter Right, you need to elaborate So, uh, you need to put your uh, reading material tu dalam bentuk table Nanti you boleh slate juga dalam you punya chapter So, kalau you tak dalam 10 ke 20 uh, new new uh, lit, uh, journal you boleh letak dalam literature review chapter lah right. of course dalam literature review chapter you mesti elaborate jugalah what is the current dan dalam bentuk essay jugalah kan ok so so this one is a keyword benda yang sama ada ada explain everything 
So, they mesti bentuk SPI, Setting, Population, Intervention, Comparison, Evolution lah. So, ini uh, structured, uh, structure for formulated question lah. So, let's say health service, research, use, patient, intervention, comparison, uh, comparison outcome. Structure. Within social science, researcher research the following may be appropriate setting. What is the setting there kat mana? So, let's say you are doing... Uh, you want to do a research on dengue fever prevention at in Malaysia. So, you cari dalam Malaysia dulu. So, dalam keyword dia, macam tadi kan, I letak dekat sini. So, among Malaysia, eh, sorry, ni dah. Dah keyword yang sebelum ni. So, dekat sini, I letak Malaysia, dia may setting tempat kan. So, population dia dalam Malaysia pun sama lah lebih kurang. Intervention dia apa kita nak buat? Kita nak cari knowledge, attitude and practice. Right? So, comparison, evaluation. Comparison, maybe if you want to do a comparison Malaysia and Indonesia. So, you boleh letak Malaysia and Indonesia. So, the the setting uh, yang satu lagi, evaluation dia kita nak evaluate on dengue. So, mesti element spice ni mesti kena ada dalam keyword yang you nak cari lah. Setting, population, intervention. Comparison and evaluation. Sometimes in comparison tak ada, you boleh eliminate. You boleh omit lah. So, contoh lagi satu, let's say kita banyak cari dalam jurnal, dia ada bentuk awareness, awareness, awareness. So, kita boleh buang uh, word awareness ni, exclude from our search. So, minus awareness. So, just start minus awareness. Right? So, this is a boolean for all. All maksudnya kita nak cari vegan and vegetarian. We don't want to find uh, the inter intersect intersection dekat sini uh, vegan inter and vegetarian kita tak nak so kita nak cari yang ni yang ni sini. kita menggunakan all and maksudnya kita nak cari the both for and vegan and vegetarian and not maksudnya not uh, vegan vegetarian so kita nak cari ve uh, vegan saja. alright kita boleh kita letak not so not tadi macam minus lah uh, sama je so Example of spice, actual PhD example lah. Uh, ni is what, uh, let's say setting ni guna Malaysia. Population, women or mothers. Right? Let's say kalau you nak specify lagi, women or mothers, uh, you boleh letak lah women or mothers. Intervention, this is the anti-retroviral uh, retroviral therapy. Comparison with the rural or urban, evolution, historical, politics, attitude, views, opinion lah. Uh, so, benda yang sama, eh, semua spice uh, element ni kena ada dalam keyword. <coughs> right, nanti uh, slide ni I akan bagi kat you, don't worry So I think uh, Yang lain-lain ni you boleh baca sendiri Right, so tengok macam mana nak uh, Nak guna Uh, search strategy right. Tapi basically I dah explain tak dekat you So now uh, Kita ada beberapa minit lagi Sekejap saja. So I already explained what is a database Database kita kena pergi ke specific library Right Library kita masuk database Online database So kita ada banyak online database dekat sini Kita boleh pergi juga ke Wiley uh, Wiley online uh, library uh, Taylor and Frenchies Uh, Scopus, Sign Direct uh, Ini yang related lah uh, Lagi satu kita boleh pergi ke Since kita buat uh, Search on Dengue You can also go to uh, Another library called as NI uh, NIH So NLM NLM So, you boleh pergi NLM uh, Library So, National Library of Medicine So, sebab kita buat uh, On Dengue Fever Prevention kan So, you boleh type uh, Your keyword dekat sini Dia akan keluar lah Right So, this is another uh, database Search engine tadi Macam tadi Jangan guna google.com So, it's too general Right You always use scholar.google.com lah Right so, For finding The The literature So this is the history of literature database You boleh cari dalam You boleh baca nanti 
right? So this is an example of uh, online database and online uh, engine. So we have Google, Bing, Yahoo, Wolfram, specific. Yeah, kita akan focus on specific lah. PubMed, Google Scholar, uh, Cyprus, Ovid, ProQuest, and so on. Ni dalam database kita ada banyak lah. Uh, Cancer, Leap, apa semua ni, website, uh, ni Medline ni tadi yang sebut tu, Procran, Embase, right, and so on. So, UITM uh, subscribe database, you can always go to easy access, tadi ada tunjuk dekat you, and this is online uh, database. Right, uh, Elsevier, Elsevier is a sign direct lah, dalam sign direct, uh, banyak, ini semua uh, consists of Elsevier, Scopus. Web-based search engine ni, uh, uh, Google Scholar, uh, Google PubMed is a search engine. So this one you could boleh baca, boleh tengok sendiri lah, right? Uh, <coughs> I think kita dah muka surat. So this one semua dah ada tunjuk kan dah ni. Uh, so what is the difference between Google Scholar and PubMed? So you boleh baca nanti. Uh, this is a Google Scholar, Scopus, and so on. So I think, uh, yeah. For the next class, to be bukan next class lah, nanti I akan bagi video lah. How to use uh, citation tool. So, maksudnya, you nak buat uh, literature lah, bila you write down, let's say, dengue fever is a hemorrhagic uh, uh, disease. It uh, transmitted by a vector known as Aedes, right, contoh. So, word tu, you dapat daripada satu literature uh, A, contoh. So, you nak cite the word tu, you tak boleh directly tulis sebagai you punya, you kena tulis uh, kataan tu, you, you ambil daripada mana. So, you ambil dari saya daripada satu buku. So, macam mana you nak type uh, citation ni? Right? So, you kena cite macam tu kan? Dalam sebelah uh, paper tu. Contoh, let's say, I tunjuk dekat you. Um, let's say, I buka ni soalan lah. Eh. Saya boleh buka tak? Tidak lah. Saya tunjuk saya sekejap eh. Uh, masa nak habis sekejap. Saya tunjuk you something eh. So, senang you faham. Tengok saya sendiri sekejap, saya tunjuk dekat you Dekat bawah ni you Nampak tak dia letak 1, 2, 3, 4 ni Maksudnya, dengue fever is a viral infection Transmitted by bite uh, of Aedes aegypti and Aedes albicitus mosquito Contoh So, the word ni dia ambil daripada Dia refer daripada journal ni Daripada literature 1, 2, 3, 4 So, dia akan letak So, daripada definition ni, dia ambil daripada general 1, 2, 3, 4, dia akan letak 1, 2, 3, 4. This word is referred by uh, from this general 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, dia akan letakkan hujung sekali. 1, 2, 3, 4, mesti ada kat bawah. Dia punya, dia punya citation. So, reference dia, uh, this is a general 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 is this one. 2, this one. 3, 4. So, yang tu, kita boleh buat sendiri manually tapi manually sangat penat so i advise you to use mendeley instead of uh, endnote ada ada dua benda yang selalu famous and, and mendeley and endnote ada pelbagai lagi software tapi the most convenient ones yang i think uh, convenience is mendeley instead of endnote lah endnote pun boleh buat juga tapi ini to download from library kan mendeley you boleh download terus uh, kepada daripada word so So, dia dah hang lah. So, I think that's all. Untuk uh, untuk uh, Mendeley and Note lah. Uh, okay. Nanti, I akan bagi satu video untuk how to use Mendeley. Ataupun, you boleh search on uh, YouTube jugalah. Okay. Ada soalan tak setakat ni? Ni Slide ni ada banyak lagi. Sampai 183. But, actually, dia sambung, sambung dengan benda lain lah. Uh, so, kita akan continue lagi dengan slide ni. Soalan? Uh, okay. 
Uh, uh, you boleh guna jenis yang sebelum ni right? Tapi Make sure semua elemen ni ada juga Yang, tu, yang sebelum ni I suruh you buat uh, Ada 8 soalan kan 8 atau 10 soalan tu kan 8 soalan tu kan Yang tu untuk you dapatkan idea Untuk you tulis dalam introduction Chapter introduction Maksudnya what is uh, literature uh, dengue fever prevention You boleh dapat idea You boleh start writing dalam tu So daripada 10 jenis tu You boleh pemain lah uh, So uh, apa sample size yang dia guna Apa yang uh, ni Kalau uh, apa dia punya uh, finding dia berapa Itu semua kan So you boleh juga menggunakan 10 jenis yang tu Untuk write down the table ni This is a summary of literature review uh, You write down dalam table ni Untuk you punya chapter number 2 Literature review Boleh? Atau kalau you tengok dalam 10 jenis yang you dah ambil sebelum ni Tak boleh nak fit in Dalam uh, table ni Objektif tak ada Metodologi tak ada Variable Dependent variable Independent variable tak ada You, you tak boleh nak masuk lah uh, So bila you tak boleh masuk You kena cari jenis yang lain Boleh? Boleh faham? So basically 10 jenis juga Benda yang sama Macam sebelum ni Cuma daripada sebelum ni you, Kalau you boleh translate kepada this table You just translate Kalau tak boleh You kena cari jenis lain juga Untuk Cukupkan 10 tu Boleh eh? Okay, boleh, boleh, ha, boleh. Faham. So This one bukan work Bukan kerja seorang-seorang eh You kena kerja berkumpul lah Kena discuss ha, Lepas ni pun ada discussion sikit Sebab kita akan jumpa balik bulan uh, Lagi 2 minggu eh 12 hari bulan Eh 12 hari bulan sebelah kan Ah, betul, 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 betul. Ah, yeah, lagi dua minggu So enough time for you to make a discussion And make a new uh, Ni lah table baru Untuk uh, literature review Yang kerja sebelum ni You tak boleh uh, uh, copy and paste uh, table tu dalam uh, chapter introduction Tapi you get the idea You boleh start writing the essay Right? Writing the introduction essay uh, writing your objective, research question, uh, research hypothesis Tadi kita dah belajar kan, ha, macam mana nak buat right? uh, So you boleh start doing that and then jangan lupa justification uh, So you dah, uh, dah ada yang tu, you boleh translate it to the chapter number one Sampai justification So you dah complete lah chapter one kalau you dah translate tu Okay, boleh So sebab end product kita kena ada satu paper, eh, satu uh, Complete research per, uh, per, uh, report Okay Ada soalan lain Before we end our session Kita dah lebih 2 minit So jangan lupa uh, Sign in your attendant Attendant dah buka dah right? Attendant dah ada Oh semua dah sign dah Okay ada yang belum sign ni Sign in Sign in dulu Jangan lupa nanti terlupa dan uh, Dikira tak hadir lah Teruk lah Alright, kita datang kan? Nah, okay. Alright. I think that's all. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.